introducing Bozo, the world's most famous clown. As we have all kinds of exciting things planned for you here in the center ring. Of course, my juggling vile brothers and Tweety Poopers going to be here. And we're going to have some other exciting shtick too because Clank the Tin Can Man is going to stop by. And plenty of other surprises. So I hope you're set to go here under the Mojo Big Top. Let's keep it going there, Professor. Here? Golly to Molly, Professor Tweety Pooper. What's this all about the special inventions and a lecture you're going to give us on how to tell time through the ages? <laughs> you know, before I tell you what big invention I made, I have a new clock, a clock nobody has, but we have it here in a circus, right here. Right here in the yeah. photo big top. But okay. First, <laughs> let's go back. Now, this is a sand clock, you know. A sand no, clock? No, that's a, that's a sun clock. A sun clock. That's right. They used to tell time by the sun. Yeah. And uh -huh. they have a little shadow, and then they can look behind the shadow. And they ooh, they what? Look behind the what? The shadow. The shadow. And oh, then okay. they know what, 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 what light they, of a day it is. And they pull the shade down. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Now, go here, ahead. Mr. Bozo, uh -huh. this is a water clock. Uh -huh. You know, they had a little water here, see? And it drips down here, this water. And it comes the water out. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that's a real looking uh, timepiece, all right. Yeah, yeah. It works too. Right? Yeah, that's how they yeah. tell time. And, what's and here, this is a sand clock. If you want to cook an egg and you need three minutes, why don't you go and look at it? You mean that's how they tell time like yeah, that? Yeah, go real close. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, it's a nice sand clock. Yeah. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> There really is sand coming off. Yeah. These okay. are terrific. What a nice lecture about time. But what about what about the new invention about telling time? <laughs> I'm glad you asked, Mr. Bozo, because the new clock Five is... o'clock and all is well. Oh, it's back, Marie. Five o'clock and yeah. all is well. Clock, clank is the clock. See, that's 12 o'clock, and that's 6 o'clock, and that's 3 o'clock. And see the arms, his hands. Thank you, honey. And here we go. And can you tell the time? Well, see? Let me just see if I can get over there and look at him for a minute. I'd like to see his time. Let's see. You mean, now, wait. Professor, this is another one of your tricks. Wait a minute, listen. See, it's Golly to Molly, I hear a clock ticking. <laughs> Do you sticking. hear it? It's ticking, yeah. You and mean you made a clock out of clank? Yeah, he makes three o'clock and, and six o'clock and nine o'clock. Uh, uh, uh. All right, let's see. What time is it now? Like, uh, uh, make, can you wind him up and make him like three o'clock? Yeah, yeah. All right, okay. Now, uh, uh, Clanky, make, make four o'clock, four o'clock. Four o'clock. Clanky. Four o'clock. <laughs> Are you yeah. sure the time, the time piece is running down, <laughs> Professor? Yeah, you know, you cannot rely on such clock like you could on the cuckoo clocks. You know, cuckoo clocks? Now, I suppose the next thing you're going to tell me is that Clank's a cuckoo clock. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Boss, I'm glad you mentioned it. Yeah. <laughs> this Clank is also a cuckoo clock. See the little cuckoo here? Yes. Yeah. 2.30. Cuckoo! You two must be up to some Would of your you like little to have tricky three tricks. Three o'clock? Three o'clock? The cuckoo can make yes, three o'clock. Yeah, because it came by so fast. Let me see if it can make three o'clock. We have to get real close to real it. Real close to the cuckoo, okay. Yeah. Wait! Wait! What? <laughs> I think you're right, Professor, because believe it or not, I'm <laughs> hearing cuckoo. <laughs> for our Bozo Balloon soccer game here in the center ring. We play it with this delightful green barrel right in the, in the center of the ring, and I know you're going to enjoy how we play it. So first off, let's bring in our soccer players. Come on in and say hi to Bozo right over here. Just so you can look at so I can see what you look like. You must be uh, Karen, right? Nice meeting you, Karen. Well, hi, Mike. How's everything? Pleasure seeing you. Uh, shaking hands <laughs> and everything like that. Hi, Mary Ann. How are you? Kevin, nice meeting you. It's a pleasure talking to you all. Now, did you see that green barrel we have there? Now, the rules of this game are very simple. What you have to do, the first one that gets a balloon in that barrel is the winner. It's simple enough, isn't it? <laughs> Except one little thing, you can't use your hand. 
You have to put the balloon down and either kick it in or you can push it in with your shoulder or something like that, but you cannot touch the balloon with your hand. Understand the rules? All right, put your balloons. Why don't you each get a corner of the barrel? Kevin, you come back over here if you want. And when I say go, you try and kick it right inside. All right, ready? On your mark. Get set, go. Right in there. Oh, no hands, no hands, no hands. Your shoulders you can use. Head. No hands. No, they still haven't got it in. Still haven't got it in. Oh, almost, almost, Karen. Hurry it up now. Just one balloon inside is all you have to get. Just get it up. And... <laughs> Hurry it up. Just don't lose your balloon ball there. <laughs> it is kind of fun. <laughs> oh, almost. Boy, they're getting close. Wait a minute. No, no. Oh, wow, we can go. Get it in there. No hands, shoulders. Feet kicking right in. Kick it right in. Oh, whoa, just doesn't want to go in. Why? Wait a minute. Wait. Oh, oh, hey. That's all okay. Come back here. Boy, you all were getting close there all the time, but you made it, Kevin, all right. My pals did a good job. It's not as easy as it looks. What do we got for our winner, Mr. Ringmaster? Our winning pal gets a, a flip-a-basket to uh, toy that you'll have a lot of, of fun with, I'm sure, Kevin. Hold on to that. And all my other players, for being good soccer players, get a full gift box of delicious bit of honey candies, which I know you're enjoying. So each of you take home a gift box of bit of honeys, and I think you'll enjoy that. Uh, I tell you, why not, ladies before gentlemen, Mary Ann, you take it. The rest of you, go see Mr. Ringmaster, and he'll give you a special prize. Boy, that, that barrel game is kind of fun, all right. Boy, guys use up energy just walking around there. I think I'll just rest a minute. Oh, Mr. Ringmaster, I can't get out of the barrel. I'm stuck. I, I Help me out. Ooh. I was just telling, uh, Jeff, you remember the time that I had that, that, that adventure uh, with, with the, uh, the magician Abracadabra? I'll never forget. One day uh, we were there and he said, Bozo, I'm going to make a dog out of you. <laughs> I, I thought I could... Isn't that funny? I thought I was cured of that. Well, anyway, we were at the circus and all of us... Something's happening to me. I can't... Gee, shucks, butchy boy. There's no such thing as magic. No, you do not believe in magic. No, sir. It's just a lot of tricks. Tricks, huh? Watch this, my funny face friend. Abracadabra, candelabra. Focus, focus, come into focus. <laughs> a skunk? You were supposed to be a rabbit. Well, don't yell at me. It's your trick. Golly, Bozo, that was real magic. Magic's magic. It was just another slick trick. So, you still do not believe in magic, huh, Bozo? Absolutely not. Okay, my skeptical friend. I will show you some real black magic. Abracadabra, candelabra with two candles. You are now a dog. Dog? I don't feel like no... Dog? Bozo, are you all right? Sure. Golly, my pal Bozo really thinks he's a dog. Sit up, boy. Sit up. Golly, Mr. Cadaver, you gotta change my pal Bozo back to his old self. He's sick, 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 sick. Okay, I will change Bozo back. Uh-oh. <laughs> Have you seen any old stray dogs around? Aha! There's a lost dog now. Come back here, you big old hound dog. Here, over, nice doggy. Here, Fido. My, what a big old. Nazola must be a mongrel. 
Boy, I sure caught me a big old dog this time. <laughs> down, boy, down. In you go, Fido. You two dogs are going to be big buddies. Sure you will. Wow. a dog license. But I don't need a dog license. I'm a people. Bozo, where are you? Over here, Butch. Bozo, you're okay. How do I get in here, Butch? Abracadabra, the magician turned you into a dog, Bozo. He did? How? He just said, Abracadabra, Candelabra. Oh, oh. Bozo, are you okay? Oh, I'm great! If you like dogs! In this business, you meet the craziest dogs! <laughs> I'm always kind of flabbergasted every time I'm my friend Professor Tweety Pooper <laughs> because he's always had some magic tricks to do for us. Now, now, what's this? You said you got a fantastical trick. Mr. Bozo, <laughs> wait till you see this. Have you heard of, of the big man which could escape all the time and his name was Houdini? Houdini! Yeah, yeah hip and hop and Houdini, I remember him. <laughs> I'm, I'm Tweety Heeny. You're Tweety Heeny, okay. Because I can escape too, you know. W would you like to see something? Like I would that? like to see you do that. You, 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 you tie me up, please. Yeah. Here tie. we go. I'm going to tie it real tight now. Yeah, here we go. Okay, I just tie it right over there. Then, no, no, and come back. Yeah, come yeah wait, back. let me get a nice knot here. And I'm going to tie a knot over here. And oh, one more knot, one more knot. And one more knot too. And, oh, boy, if you get out of this, Professor. And one more knot. <laughs> another knot, too. Yeah. A triple knot. And, and one more knot, please. <laughs> a quadruple knot. Boy, you That's never... a quadruple, triple, triple knot. And now I need the... We had four boys. We want to come out. Hi, come over here for a minute. Let's find out who these pals are. Right, two of you get on that side, and two of you stand right over here next to me. Uh, Scobie, stand right on that side. Now, what, so, what are they going to do? Yeah, take the rope, please. And you take the other end. One end here, one end over here. And whoo! Uh, would you pull it real hard, real, real, very hard, pull your rope, pull, pull real hard. Ooh, what are we having, a tug of war in the middle of the circus? What's going okay, on? Okay, hold it! Oh, well, what's that got to do with the thing that I just well, tied you up with? Well, that's a real rope, you know, you could, uh -huh. yeah, you could pull the whole circus away with it. Now, uh, would you please put it through my arm and take it over there? And okay, now come a little closer, that's Scooby and that's Jimmy. Okay, and that's Nick and that's Stevie. Now, I want you, on the count of three, I want you to pull as hard as you can, okay? One, two, three, pull! Boy, <laughs> golly tamale, Professor. Pull on my arms, pull on my arms, too. Pull on my arms. Wait a minute, I'll tell you what, just try that one more time quickly. Would you do that for me, please? Yes, I'm going to put it through, and they're going to just go right through there. All right, try one more wait, time. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Uh, one more time. One more okay, time. everybody count. One, hold on, Chet. One, wait a second, come a little closer. Come a little here, a little closer. <laughs> wait, wait, come here, wait. One, two, three, go. That's such a great trick. I figure if you can do it, I can probably do it too. So I had my hands tied up here. Nick, Nick do you think Mr. Bosa can do it? I had it tied up real tight there. Jimmy, look. 
<laughs> okay, now, we, I, Nikki thinks you cannot do it. <laughs> what do you mean I can't do it? Just If you did it, I can do it, and I just pull okay, it. Okay, here we go. Is there any magic words I have to say? Yeah. See, I'm a Kadama, but it won't help. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one, two, three. Professor, wait. It doesn't seem... Professor, get me out of this. I can't seem to escape. Are you sure this is what's going on? I finally released myself from those ropes here, not the way Professor did all that. There's a siren, which means it's time for our bonus service system. So full of toys for some lucky boy or girl. All right, let's get Butch down here as fast as we can. Butch, you want to come down here for a second? Close your eyes real tight and pick out one of the numbers in the hat. In the hat, there we go. And let's see which boy or girl will get a chance at our treasure chest today. It's number 69. Number 69, one of our little bluebirds here. Thank you very much. Well, hi, what's your name? Well, it's nice meeting you, Carolyn. Let's see if you have... You do have a little bit of a squeak. I wasn't sure. Well, Carol Ann, what's your luckiest number from one to five? Pick a lucky number. One, all right. One is the number she picked. Mr. Ringmaster, would you drop in our special balloons? Here they come from the top of the circus tent. Now, there are five balloons. Number one is in one of those balloons. Which one do you think it is? So I'm just a lucky guess. Think a minute, and then when you get a, when you feel you, you got an idea which one you want to try for, just go through it. Where do you think number one is? We'll find out right now, Mr. Ringmaster. Go for any one you want. Please just go for that one way over there. Whoa! All right, it dropped right down here. She went for the end one. Let's see. Let's see. What do you think? What do you think, Carol? Oh, Carol, it was number three. You're a couple off there, but I don't feel too bad because I know you're going to be happy with what we have for you. A special bojo towel. Let's see how it looks like there. Let me see. Oh, isn't that lovely? Isn't that terrific? I think you'll enjoy having bozo with you all the time. Hold on to this towel, Carol Ann, and thank you very much for being our bozo treasure chest prize. How much you folks at home do you know uh, where number one is in that balloon? Uh, let's try and find out. All right, which one do you think it is? Where? This one here? What'd you say at home? This one? This one right here? This one? That one? Mr. Ringmaster, did you put it in that one? He never tells me why. <laughs> oh, I love to do this. <laughs> I just go run out like I'm spearing a spearfish. That's what it is. Let's see what we, what we have here in the center ring. If this is, it's number 83. No, no. I don't like it. It's number one. It's number one. That's it. We just want to show you that there, it was, number one was in one of those balloons. And now I guess we have to add another prize to the treasure chest. A whole bowling set goes in, Mr. Ringmaster. Oh boy, I don't know where to put it. Maybe I can put it right on top here and we'll go for another try at our lucky balloon bonus game next time. So be around for all the fun and excitement. This is the time a lot of us have been waiting for because we get a chance to do some ding-dong dandy dancing. So let's bring out our dancing tin can man. Here he is. Hi. Well, Clank, are you in a dancing mood? I'm in a dancing mood, Bozo. Well, I hope so. I, uh, I hope you're in a dancing mood at home because it's kind of fun to get up and get a little exercise. So why don't you get in your dancing position, Clank? And Mr. Music Master Meister, sir, would you please strike up the man?
in this. Boy, it's awfully fun dancing with you, Clegg. Stick around for a minute because I did want to remind a lot of my pals that we'll see you next time for all kinds of fun right here in the center ring of the Bozo TV circus. So, until I see you next time, remember what your pal Bozo always says.